Whether you lick, slurp, or bite, on a hot summer day, there's nothing quite like a delicious dripping ice cream cone. Who do we have to thank for this summer sensation? Well, you decide. It's the summer of 1904, and visitors to the St. Louis World's Fair ride the huge Ferris wheel and dine on delicacies from around the world. Everyone is lining up for ice cream, but the vendors are turning people away. Why? They've run out of bowls, and vendors are losing money. That's when inspiration strikes food vendor Charles Menches. Here's what he does. He grabs a wooden fid, usually used to split tent rope, and heads over to his waffle maker. He pours the batter, cooks a waffle, and uses the fid to roll a cone. He plops a few scoops of ice cream on top, and he's back in business lickety-split. They didn't need a spoon. They didn't need a bowl. It was a new way of handling ice cream. Well, that's one story. Another version says that waffle maker Ernest Hamwee and ice cream vendor Arno Fornichow teamed up at the fair to invent the cone. Oh, and don't forget Abe Dumar, yet another vendor at the fair. His family claims it was Abe who came up with the idea. Whomever it was, cone making quickly became a multi-million dollar industry, with high-tech machines churning out thousands of cones an hour. Today, one-third of all ice cream is licked off cones. But what's the scoop on the true inventor of this tasty treat. A lot of times it comes down to who got the patent on something, and that oftentimes is the most important thing. Uh-oh. That aces out Charles, Ernest, Arno, and Abe. The legal claim to ice cream fame actually belongs to Italo Marchioni, an ice cream vendor on New York's famed Wall Street. He applied for a patent on September 22nd, 1903, seven months before the start of the World's Fair. One of the things about invention is that oftentimes the same idea pops up in several different places at the same time. In this case, it was the same idea, but with a twist. Italo's patent is for a mold to make an edible cup. Proof, according to Linda, that her family's claim is legit. Italian Marciano invented the ice cream cup. We invented the ice cream cone. Well, the argument may never be settled, which means it's up to you to decide. Should the credit go to Marchioni, the patent holder, or one of the vendors at the fair? Whomever you choose, it doesn't change the fact that this edible treat turned ice cream into one of America's favorite desserts. <laughs>